Hey Taurus, what's going on? It's Ashley from Serendipity Tarot. Happy July 4th to you guys. We're going to check you guys out and see what messages pop out. If this is your reading, like, share, comment, and subscribe. Hit the notification bell so you are aware of when I drop these readings. You don't want to miss out. Alright, so Taurus, we're going to take a look. This could be a love-based connection. This could be a business partnership, a friendship, family connection. Take it how it resonates and leave the rest. If you want a personal tower reading, I do message tower readings now as well, full spreads, as well as video recorded readings, okay? You get to choose all the information in the description box for you guys, okay? All right, so Taurus, let's start off with the challenge you could be facing in your love life, okay? Again, this could be any type of connection. Messages for Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for July. The Strength and the Two of Wands in reverse. So if you could be dealing with a Leo in particular or a fire sign, there's been a lot of indecisiveness here. And this could be you um, or your person, right? There's been a lot of back and forth, being unsure as to how to move forward. It feels like something here has been also very challenging for you, Taurus. Maybe it's been really difficult for you to deal with this kind of person or uh, situation here where someone just doesn't know what they want, okay? I'm getting very choosy, very again, indecisive. Two wands could be literally leaving you in this place of confusion because maybe you had this strong desire for some kind of movement and change and it feels like someone has been just playing games with you, okay? Going back and forth. So the two of wands could be you having to get out of this energy and now make a decision for yourself. And it's gonna require a lot of strength, a lot of willpower, a lot of courage. In a recent past Taurus, we have the Empress in reverse the Two of Cups and the Hierophant. So in the past, it definitely looks like there was a really strong connection between you and someone here that may have grown and it feels like it really had great potential. There was the idea of coming together for something um, greater, right? You know, for maybe a commitment of some sort. It feels like whoever this was, you were committed to them, okay? Committed to the connection, committed to a friendship. For some reason, Taurus, it feels like something here wasn't thriving though okay it wasn't growing wasn't being cared for you could be dealing with someone that wasn't really nurturing the connection wasn't really giving enough to it to really allow it to take off um the empress could be you taurus right but it also could be the energy of someone may have turned their back on you you may have felt neglected with the empress in reverse you could have felt like you weren't good enough you weren't being cared for and desired typically this is the divine feminine energy so maybe you are the divine feminine taurus where Something here, it felt like it was really special and it was divine, right? There was a strong soul connection with the Two of Cups, uh, soul connection. However, the Empress and Verse, someone here just didn't give enough to it. Now, the current energy is the Three of Wands, the Knight of Cups, and the King of Cups, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio energy. The current energy is that something here is moving forward because the Three of Wands is when your ships come in, right? You wait, 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 and then finally something is coming in and moving forward. So Taurus, you may feel like right recently your love life has changed for um, the better, okay? A new direction. I'm also seeing a Knight of Cups. So this could be someone here who has offered love to you. Maybe someone here has come to you. Maybe you recently got connected with someone. Someone here cares about you very deeply. And I think Taurus, I feel like love is on the horizon for you if you haven't met this person yet. Okay. The energy is saying that someone here really does see that side of you. And you know, they see that emotional side of you and they love it. And maybe you guys are going to really connect on the emotional front. This could be someone that supports you. Okay. Through thick and thin, right? When you're at your lowest Point. It feels like the King of Cups, this is someone who has um, a big, big heart. There's a lot of unconditional love here. Some of you, you moved on from something or someone in the past, and then now you're finding this person who loves very deep and, you know, could really make you happy. Taurus, in your energy, we have the Judgment, we have the Magician in reverse, and we have the Ten of Cups in reverse. A lot of you, Taurus, are realizing that if something here isn't making you happy, the Ten of Cups, if you're not getting your happiness with regard to a situation, you have the ability to change it. You have the ability to use your power. 
um, to change that situation because it does seem like with the judgment, you may have recently made a decision or you're actively making a decision and taking back your control, taking back control of your love life, um, finding happiness, you know, within yourself or doing what makes you happy, putting yourself in places or in situations where you're going to get your happiness, your 10 of cups. And so Taurus this is really about you, right? Manifesting this change, bringing forth that change um, that you want. So you may be attracting um, this kind of love because you, you've recently made a decision with the judgment card that something here wasn't working for you and making you happy. And therefore, now you're attracting that energy, that love, that new love, okay, into your life. Let's see what's going on in the foundation, what you're not aware of. We have the world in the verse. We have the two swords in the verse, the star, Aquarius energy, and the hermit, Virgo energy. Taurus, I will say you have someone here who is revisiting a past situation here that something where something didn't work out or go as they anticipated or planned. It feels like this is someone that may be stuck in a cycle and maybe now going back to a situation that hasn't worked out for them. Now, there was a decision. I feel like this decision to a sword could be a decision that maybe you've made. This could be you making a decision and therefore they're kind of left with having to accept that decision. Taurus, it feels like someone here is thinking heavily about you with the hermit and they're finding them, themselves in this energy of, you know, they're having a lot more downtime and this downtime is enabling this person to think long and hard about something here that maybe they've been avoiding, okay? The hermit is that uh, energy of going within, um, introspection, maybe doing some inner work, healing work, okay? And it feels like someone here is... Hopeful, optimistic, the star, you know, that something here can come together or will come together. The star is having hope and faith with regard to a situation. Now, with the two swords in verse, someone here, um, I'm getting this decision could be something here that they didn't want. It feels like they didn't see something coming. So you may have made a decision towards to maybe disconnect from someone. And it's like, oh, I didn't see that coming. I had no idea you felt that way. And maybe they did, but they didn't do anything about it, right? Maybe they ignored the signs. Maybe they ignored their empress. They may have ignored that they weren't giving and loving you the way you needed to be loved. And you may decide, you know what? That's not the kind of love I want, you know? So give me the outcome. Six of Swords, Six of Wands, Ace of Cups. Someone here definitely feels like there's been a missed opportunity. There is a feeling like I missed out on something here that could have been very beautiful, loving, and, you know, ultimately could have had this happy life. Someone here wants a victory with you. The Six of Wands is wanting to achieve, wanting to be recognized, wanting to be seen. Someone here wants to be um, acknowledged by you. And the Six of Swords are going to try to do whatever they can to move away from some kind of conflict or um challenge within this connection maybe there's something from the past with the six of swords that you and this person haven't really been able to work out someone here wants to get in your good graces someone here definitely feels like something hasn't worked out it's been a missed opportunity and therefore they want your attention okay so we're gonna see where this can go six of wands can also be the energy where Taurus, you're just getting a lot of attention from all different kinds of people you may be very much in the spotlight okay and so you could be like very much being seen by everyone great time to date perhaps okay so let's see what we can find out Taurus if this is your reading like your comment and subscribe all right so first off we have the hangman Piscean energy and this is clarifying the two of wands and the strength so it does look like this indecisive indecision here of someone this could be your person Taurus it feels like they've been doing a lot of thinking i think this hangman being a very spiritual card could be also you doing a lot of thinking during this downtime and i feel like it really allowed you to really think about what's important right the hangman is like you're looking at a situation from a different perspective some of you guys you place so much of your happiness with regard to uh you know yourself on this person and now you're having a different way of looking at a situation you're looking at it differently to the point where maybe you're saying you know what i'm okay letting go of this connection right maybe you, you thought I would only be happy with this person, but now you're seeing things in a whole different way because of that hangman, okay? And it's because I'm getting of a pause. And I think this pause is, is really not something you wanted, but I think it's because of this person, Taurus, being very indecisive, two of wands, okay? So give me the energy in the past. We have the Hierophant, the two cups, and the Empress. So there's that six of swords and the ace of swords. 
there's something towards you had a really difficult time making peace with and letting go with the six of swords it may have felt like it was something that was like haunting you or you're in, you were constantly in conflict with regarding a past situation here with the ace of swords it feels like there was a breakthrough there was clarity there was change there was truth something here could have been illuminated to you something that allowed you again to see things for the way it truly was and with the empress in reverse you may have gotten insight that you weren't being treated fairly right you were perhaps involved with someone that you may consider your soulmate with the two cups but you weren't being treated fairly the emperor is here as well and the magician so it feels like in the past there definitely was an energy of the emperor and the empress right a divine connection but again we have the energy of one person in the upright the other person in the reverse so i get i'm getting the energy that there could have been some like struggles here between you and this person it could have felt like they were your person but someone here wasn't maybe making the right decisions or trying to be in control and ultimately it feels like they were not really doing enough for their partner right it may have felt like Taurus person wasn't doing enough to care for you and put you first and with the magician they may have been so focused and fixated on um bring some kind of benefit for themselves right they were always about what can you do for me or what am i going to get out of it and that could be that magician energy as well could be dealing with a gemini give me the current energy the three of wands the high priestess in reverse and the seven of cups in reverse something here could be revealed to you taurus or may have recently been revealed and it feels like whatever's being revealed how difficult as it may be it feels like it's allowing you to move forward three of wands it's allowing you to move in this new direction that spirit wants for you with the seven of cups in reverse this also could be some clarity regarding someone else's options maybe someone had another um, person they were dealing with Typically, Seven of Cups is confusion and illusion. So maybe you didn't know where you stood with regard to this person after finding out there was a third party. It feels like someone here definitely didn't know what they wanted. And ultimately, whatever um, you found out and a good of it regarding this energy, you may have decided with the Three of Wands to continue to move forward and, you know, not look back. Three of Wands is waiting for your ships to come in. And I feel like your ships are coming in. Two of Cups in verse, but it requires you maybe turning your back on this connection first. So you could be certainly um, receiving an offer with the Knight of Cups from someone from the past or a new person. It just really depends, but it feels like it's going to require for you to at first turn your back on something that you thought was really going to move forward, right? It, it looks like by letting go, surrendering and saying, you know what, I'm going to let this person take care of their, their life first. I'm going to let them do what they need to do before I try to fix this connection, right? Because it feels like if this person isn't doing enough, then, you know, nothing is really going to happen. Um, so the two of cups of verse, you may be literally turning your back on this connection and there could be a love offer coming in shortly after, Give me the energy, Taurus, of the Magician and the Judgment. Four of Swords, there definitely is a break on the horizon with the Two of Pentacles in reverse and the Judgment in reverse. A lot of you have been putting off making this really big decision, but it feels like you've been juggled and I'm getting tossed around enough to the point where it's like, okay, something has to give. And, it, you know, you may have been spending a lot of time by yourself with the Four of Swords. This is the energy of isolation, maybe not speaking with, to your family and friends. It's kind of an emotional recovery or energy where there's a lot of conflict around you. Therefore, you need some downtime, some peace of mind. And that's okay. I feel like this downtime is allowing you to make better decisions about you you about your love life putting yourself first if something isn't working the magician in reverse you're not going to be putting your all into it right because something is not working and manifesting for you it's not going to make you happy in the long run and that's what you're realizing it also feels like with the two pentacles in verse this could be you dropping a situation removing yourself or letting go of a third party situation or something here that has um been very uncertain right so Let's see what the energy is for your person. We have the world in verse. Things aren't really going too well for them. I'm getting the energy of cycles here, having to close the right way. The lovers, a decision, and the eight of wands in reverse. It does look like this is someone here with the world in reverse. Um, could be realizing the lovers in the world, they're realizing there's something very divine about this connection that maybe they didn't see before. It feels like they're now seeing it after maybe someone holds back eight of wands in verse there's a lot of delays in their life and i think part of the delays could be because taurus you may have recently made a decision for your own good this two of swords in verse it feels like this is not their decision it feels like it's a decision that you're making therefore left up uh, being them in, in this energy of the two of swords in verse it feels like you've given them no chance right you've given them 
maybe enough chances and now it's kind of like well i've already made my decision and therefore they're gonna have to just deal with it so there's a lot of delays going on in this person's energy it feels like they they're struggling on being able to move forward in their life and this lovers it's, it feels like they're recognizing something here about this connection that they didn't recognize before or they failed to acknowledge why is the star in the hermit this could be someone doing some inner work some healing some recovery Page of Cups, just someone that may want to apologize to you with the Ace of Pentacles in reverse. They feel like there's been a falling out or a missed opportunity, like something here has gotten away from them, okay? It's gotten away from them. So I think this person is realizing with the star that they do really, really find this connection special. There's something, again, divine about it. They find you um, this connection to be very unique, unlike anything they've experienced. And I've seen that they, they want to apologize but this apology may come after a really long time where they're 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 reflecting right the hermit they've been doing a lot of deep thinking and they're realizing they're alone more than ever six of swords i wouldn't be surprised if this person tried to get back in your life the queen of swords it could be some communication coming in gemini libra aquarius take it how it resonates it could be any sign someone here wants a victory Knight of Pentacles, it can be slowly coming towards you with the Knight of Pentacles, a very slow moving knight, but it's very, very secure, right? It's durable. It's someone who's coming in for the long term and they've done some thinking, right? They've done some really um, deep, deep thinking and inner work to maybe really present something secure because we have the Pentacle in their hands. So someone here definitely wants to achieve something, Six of Wands, they're wanting to... Um, Maybe even repair something. Six of Wands could be like, I, I, I believe in this, right? I'm willing to do and take action on this. And it's regarding safeguarding something here for a pentacle. Safeguarding someone here obviously sees an investment here. They want to build it. They want to hold on to it. They want to protect it. So Taurus, that is what I'm seeing. I do feel like it's, it's going to require you to maybe let go of someone here in order for them to see your true worth and value um but it's uh, entirely of course up to you when this person comes back if you want to pursue this or not so taurus that is what i'm seeing like share comment subscribe hit the notification bell and i hope you all have a great holiday take care